Hello, good time. Welcome to this new series on the new GCSE. Uh, we're starting today with German 50 words. So this is the AQA Foundation um, task. This will be a question to you on the foundation paper. So we're going to go through the mark scheme very quickly and then I'm going to show you an example and give you a model answer. So the 50 words task on the foundation paper is worth 10 marks. The marks are awarded like this. So you are marked for A02, first of all. This um, basically addresses whether you have covered the bullet points. So you will be given five bullet points to cover. They will be in English. It's really important that you learn vocabulary. Obviously, that's always been important when learning a foreign language, but the vocabulary is more important than ever in the new GCSE. Okay, so in order to score top marks on AO2, you need to have covered all the bullet points and made sure that your communication is clear so you're not causing any delay in understanding. The second section that you are marked for is AO3, and this is about the language that you use. We are being encouraged to introduce variety, so repetition is to be avoided. Where possible, don't use the same structures or the same adjectives more than once in a piece of writing. Grammatical structures, um, this will be correct verb endings, um, uses of things such as negatives and a third person shows up the variety within those grammatical structures. Please note that there is still this margin for error at foundation, even in the top marks, so and there may be some errors, but um, they must be minor, so they are not uh, affecting the communication of what you want to say. Okay, so the task itself will look something like this. As previously mentioned, obviously the instructions here are in English. So it's really important that you know the vocabulary to be able to cover these five bullet points. So this one here, you're writing um, in a school magazine about where you live, writing approximately 50 words. You can write slightly more, slightly less. The most important thing is that you are covering all five of the bullet points. So we're going to be writing about your house or flat, your bedroom, facilities in your area, what you do in your area and the weather. Okay, so we'll get started. Um, making sure that we have covered all the bullet points, we can be ticking them off as we go. So I'm going to start off with your house or flat. Nice and simple. Mein Haus ist sehr groß und ich mag es. And just to mention here that although opinions aren't mentioned in the mark scheme that I've just shown you, um, that variety and grammatical structure um, sort of encapsulates the opinions as well. So do still carry on showing your opinions and, um, and reasons as well where appropriate. We're going to keep this one nice and simple though. I've dealt with this one. Your house or flat, my house is sehr groß und ich mag es. My house is very big and I like it. So I'm going to move on to second bullet point. My zimmer, my room, ist ziemlich klein. So my room is quite small, aber ich finde, so instead of saying ich mag, again I'm varying my language with ich finde, I'm using a different adjective. Ich finde es bequem. I find it comfortable. That's my bedroom dealt with then. Number two bullet point covered. Moving on to facilities in your area. Now facilities isn't necessarily a word that you know in German. And in fact, I would argue that you don't need to know that word in German. You don't have to use that as exact word in German to cover that bullet point. We just need to talk about some things that there are in your area. So I'm going to start with in my town. In meiner Stadt. And then remembering that after 
this being the first idea of my sentence, my verb needs to be second idea. So I'm swapping those two around rather than s gibt, we're writing gibt s. Okay, gibt s, I'm kino. And although I've not used the word facilities, I've said what there is. There's a cinema. And I'm going to introduce a negative here, aber es gibt kein Schwimmbad. But there's no swimming pool. Okay. So that is the facilities in my area. It talks about one thing that there is and one thing that there isn't. So I'm moving on then to what you do in your area. So I am going to talk about my own activities and use the good old favourite playing football. But to make it into an opinion, I'm going to use gern in there as well. Ich spiele gern Fußball in und ich gehe So I've given some variety there with showing two different activities. So that's what I do in my area, covered. The last one, the weather in my area. Hopefully I know the word for weather, so I'm going to say das Wetter ist nie schön. The weather is never nice. Es regnet jeden Tag. And by giving my opinion, uh, sorry, my um, weather condition in the third person there, I'm showing that variety of verb use as well. And that is a 50 words task. Last bullet point covered. Just to quickly check back with my mark scheme, make sure I've done everything that I want to do. Um, so the A02, I have covered all five bullet points. Um, I ticked them off as I went, so I know that they're covered. The communication is clear. I've not tried to say anything new, anything that I have never said before in German. I've kept it really simple. And that way, avoided making any mistakes. For my A03, there is a variety of vocabulary. I made sure that I use different adjectives, different ways of giving my opinion. So I definitely include that variety and the grammatical structures with my third person, with my negative. There may be some errors in this text. There isn't, um, but they definitely don't uh, cause a delay in understanding. So I'm happy that I've covered everything that I should. And this is a good 50 words task. It's your turn now. Good luck.